So the first type of group we'll talk about is an aux group, or a um, normally this is for a monitor. Uh, and that's how we're going to set it up here first today, is a monitor mix. So in order to let you hear just the monitor mix, I have set up in my audio MIDI setup on my computer, and I'm recording to QuickTime, and chosen the UI24R as my device. And right now I'm sending you input 30, which is my microphone, because it's plugged into 20 on the unit, and that's how the routing matrix works. Again, go back to my last video if you're not sure what I'm talking about. And I'm going to now mute input 1 and 2, which are the main outputs, and unmute input 3, which is aux 1. So now the only things you're going to hear are whatever I send to aux 1. So if I hit play right now on my recording, Okay, you're hearing, probably, uh, the main mix through my microphone, but not directly through the unit. Okay, so go ahead and bring down the master fader to negative infinity, so we are not hearing the main mix anymore. You can see from my, um, you can see from my meters up here that we are still getting signal, and if I go to aux send one, now I have everything that will go to my aux one mix which we're going to say is our lead singer's monitor. So the lead singer plays the acoustic guitar, so he's probably gonna want some of that. So I'll bring some of that in. Try to keep it low so you can hopefully still hear my voiceover. I can't hear this, so I'm trusting it's correct. And he's the lead singer, so I'll go ahead and bring that up as well. And this might be all he wants in his monitor. Okay, so now the singer has himself and the acoustic Maybe he wants a little bass in there. So now he has all three of those things. Okay, so now that the singer has those three things in his monitor. Now, I've set up a view group over here, so that's why you're not seeing all of the faders. So I'm gonna turn that off for a second. And we'll go back to our aux send one. Okay, aux one. And if I scroll over, um, one of the most asked questions is, how to send effects to a monitor. Well, they're down here at the end. So if the lead vocalist has some of this reverb and wants it in their monitor, I can add it. Um, or maybe the room reverb. Or I think the lead vocalist has some delay. Okay, so whatever it is, we can send it here. And we can send it Unity, or we can send a lower level to avoid feedback in the monitors. Now my microphone is here, and something people often ask is, um, what about these buttons, pre and post processing button? So right now, this is telling me that my monitor is pre-fader. So what this means, um, I'll do it with our lead vocalist here. Bring him up again. So right now, this is before the fader on the main page, or your main fader for this channel. So if I go back to my main screen, okay, and I go to that same fader, and I move it, it will do nothing to change the, the level that's going to the monitor. If I go back, and I change it to post fader, now, since this fader is set to negative 10.6 dB, it should be, it was, it got quieter when I switched it over. If I raise it up, it's going to also change the level in the monitor. So some people want this because it will more closely reflect the main mix, but most of the time they're going to want it pre-fader because then they are getting their own mix in their monitors. Um, you might do this, say, in a setting where you're just doing some playback or um, say there's a group of people like in a musical theater setting and you're just playing like a stage wash. So you might give them a post mix where they're getting something very similar to the front of house and then maybe even leave their vocals out of it completely and just have the playback tracks or the orchestra playing. And then post processing or pre-processing. Not all mixers have this or sometimes we'll have an option um, to go pre-fader 
uh, you know, post EQ. It just depends on your mixer what your settings are. But what post processing or pre processing is going to, is going to do is going to control whether or not you get the EQ and compressor. So pre processing, there's no EQ or compressor or uh, gate. And post-processing, you will have all of those things in your mix.